Finally, a word about Blake. Why was Blake not treated by Haley with the same respect as Romney and Flaxman? He was, after all, given menial jobs, and Haley showed no known interest in his visionary work. I would suggest it can be summed up in one word, class. Romney and Flaxman did not have any particular advantage from birth over Blake, but as a painter and a sculptor, they could call themselves artists, since Reynolds and the Royal Academy effectively gave them professional status. Blake, on the other hand, was a professional craftsman who had served a seven-year apprenticeship, an engraver whose living was made from imitating the works uh, the work of other artists. But what then of his originality as an artist? The answer to that, I think, I would argue, is contained in a brilliant remark by Hazlitt. Flexman is another living and eminent artist who is distinguished by success in his profession and, and by a prolonged and active old age. He is diminish, diminutive in person, like the others. Uh, I know little of him, but that he is an elegant sculptor and a profound mystic. The last is a character common to many other artists in our days. Lutterberg, Cosway, Blake, Sharp, Barley, etc., who seem to relieve the literalness of their professional studies by voluntary excursions into the regions of the preternatural, pass their time between sleeping and waking, whose ideas are like a stormy night with the clouds driven rapidly across and the blue sky and stars gleaming between. Marvellous. Um, now, this doesn't seem to be an appropriate comment on Flaxman, though the others can be seen as having a spiritual life beyond their own artistic practice. But it is also a class issue because of the idea that doing a monotonous job like engraving allows the mind to wander into the regions of the preternatural, just as cobblers were supposed to have utopian dreams or fitting shoes to their social superiors. Blake is in some ways a perfect example of this dissociation and would certainly have appeared as such to Haley. Blake was almost always referred to, even by his friends, as Mr. Blake the Engraver, was employed by Haley to do odd jobs for him at his bidding. Haley would have been able to justify to himself treating Blake as a person of inferior social class, because he could have rationalised Blake's creative works, which he must have known about, as the unrestrained imaginings of a working man changed the humble work of engraving copper plates. Romney and Flaxman and Romney, difficult though the latter was, were artists and therefore more worthy of respect as social equals. Thank you very much.